What's up everybody, welcome to episode 4 of our new web series and today we're going to be looking at how you can take a glimpse at a card. I hope you're enjoying the web series so far and you've been learning a lot of new things, especially if you're new to magic. Picking up the basics is really what you need to get started with magic and sort of progress along and do the tricks. So today what we're going to be doing is taking a look at how we can take a glimpse of a playing card so we can use that in a card trick or to our full advantage. So the first one is a very, very easy one. This is called an out of the box glimpse. So to do this, all you need to do is take the cards out of the deck. So all you need to do is take a normal deck of cards and when you have the cards in, make sure that the face up side is near the top case. So when you open the deck, you open the top and as you can see here, when you pull the cards out, the first card that you see is the three of hearts. So when you take a glimpse at that when you're taking the cards out, that would be your first glimpse of the card. So you know that this bottom card is a three of hearts. So you could do a multitude of tricks or forces or anything like that using the knowledge that you have that this is three of hearts. So that is one very easy glimpse that we can do. The other very simple method you can do is when you're squaring up the cards, you can take a glimpse at the bottom card. So for example, what we did in the previous video when we squared up the cards. See here you've got a messy deck. All you have to do is take it in your other hand and you can sort of flip it when you're squaring them up and do that. And again, when you look down, you can see that that card is a three of hearts because that's on the bottom. So again, you miss your deck. All you do is just simply square it up. You can take a quick look like that. So just tilt the wrist, have a look, and put it back. What I wouldn't do is make it blatantly obvious that you're looking at the bottom card. So take your cards, square them up, look at it like that, and put it down. Because someone's going to find out, going to see, saying, why was you looking at the bottom card, etc. What's best to do is when you have your messy cards, you just square them up, and you look them down like that, and you're sort of talking. Making hand gestures like that, so you have them like that, talking hand make hand gestures, just take a quick glimpse at it, especially if you talk with your hands and you put your hands up like that, you can quickly see it. If I'm talking to you, say, right, what I'm going to do is just take these cards and when you shuffle them, just do that. In that instance, took a quick glimpse at the bottom card and you see what's that. The last glimpse that I'm going to go over is another very basic one, but it's quite powerful when you're doing magic tricks. What you can do is take the knowledge from the previous video with the grip and take your deck of cards. And like I said, when you're doing one of the other grips, and you can riffle down so someone can choose a card. When someone says stop, you can stop. You can take a quick glimpse at that bottom card that you picked up, which is the nine of diamonds. Their chosen cards is in this instance, the four of spades. So what you can do is now you know that this glimpse card is a nine of diamonds. When you put that back on top, when you flip the cards, if you're looking through like this, all you have to do is find your nine of diamonds, which you took a glimpse at, and the card above that is their chosen card. And another way to use the glimpse is the out of the box one, or even just the square enough bottom one. You see this bottom card here, which is three of hearts. What you can do is get someone to choose a card. So for example, two hand spread again, which we'll let in the other one. Take a card, in this instance, five of hearts, put that card on top, and we also did a swing cut tutorial. So do a swing cut. The bottom card was a three of hearts. So all you have to do is flick through the deck like this, look for the three of hearts, which was the bottom card, and now you know that the card above that, which this instance is the five of hearts, that's their chosen card. So that's a very easy way to learn a glimpse and some magic tricks with that. So what I'm gonna do now, just go over another quick trick, and it's got the same fundamentals as what we've discussed and what we've learned in the previous videos, but adding that extra element in just to trick more people. You get yourself a glimpse, so the way I like to do it is you can do this one. So again, 10 of hearts is the glimpse one, and the queen of hearts is their chosen card. So what you can do is put them in there, and no matter how many times you use a swing cut to cut the deck of cards, all the cards, still going to remain in that order so you can do the swing cut as many times as you want and the cards will still remain in the order you can also get the audience or spectator to take the cards split them complete the cut they can do it that way you can do it on the table you can just keep swinging cuts like that so again all you have to do is flip it over and then you look for the card as you can see ten of hearts their chosen card, Queen of Hearts. So no matter how many times you cut the cards, they will always stick together. The only instance is when you're going to have an issue, is for example here. So the Ten of Cards there, and the Queen. So if I was to cut here, then my Ten of Hearts, which is my Glimpse card, is at the bottom of the deck. So now I know that the top card it's their chosen card. So that's the only thing to look out for. No matter how many times you cut it, they're always going to stick together. Apart from this one instance, 
when your card would be on the bottom and their chosen cards on the top. So hope you enjoyed that video. Hope you've been enjoying the web series and we've been uploading them every day and we've still got another three left. So that's your seven days complete. Upload one every day. Following on from that, we're going to be doing some more of these in the future along with the other unboxings and tutorials and card tricks and things like that. But I thought it was nice to go back to some of the basics just to teach people. So anyone getting into magic, they can watch the videos and pick up some basics. If you've been liking them, you're not subscribed yet, please feel free to give a subscribe, click on the bell icon so you can be notified of all the new video uploads. And also, if you enjoyed the video and you think someone else might enjoy it, please share it with them and share it about. Until next time, see ya.